I actually remember from having watching Dave's, you know, most of my life, your character of Orpheus coming on the show in the 80s and causing all kinds of tr- drama. And now, 30 years later, we see you back on the screen as Orpheus terrorizing Salem. How surprised were you when you got the call to come back to Days of Our Lives? Uh, I, I, you could have knocked me over with a feather. I mean, I was just stunned. I, 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 I had to have it repeated to me. I said, that, I said well, that's the most random, unexpected, out of the blue thing I've ever heard. I said, I, I, I can't believe that i mean what an idea i said well first of all he's dead isn't he i mean didn't he get shot and they said well you know in <clears throat> traditional soap fashion there are ways around it. And they said so don't worry about that and i said well i thought about it for all of two seconds and i said yes of course that sounds like the most incredibly interesting fun thing to do because because um i just thought what when in life well, certainly in the theatrical life, but to revisit something you did 30, nearly 30, it was 29 plus years ago, that uh, you did something 30 years ago, three decades ago, and, and the same character, it just it just doesn't happen. I, I, I just, I've never heard of such a thing, and, and with the same people, I mean, a lot of the same actors, and, and, uh, and to just go back and revisit, relive, um, we imagined something. I, I I just thought, wow, what a what an extraordinary opportunity. Just from a, I don't know, just from an art, artistic point of view. Just thought it would be so fascinating, even from a human point of view. Um, and it was everything I hoped it would be, and more. I I was thrilled with the experience, with the people, with the uh, reception I received from the actors, old friends I have not seen in all that time. And um, they were just kind and generous and helpful, and and uh, I just had a, I had the best time. Well, how do you like uh, working with James Reed and Paul Telfer? Uh, they played Clyde and Xander, the two partners in crime to Orpheus. Well, these gentlemen I'd never met, and um, mm-hmm. I, I know just James Reed just basically because we're the same generation of actors, and we were you know kicking around here at the same time, coming up. Uh, as young actors, but I'd never worked with him, and I've just seen him at auditions as a younger actor. And then, and, and Paul, I had never met. Um, but uh, it was it, it, it was so much fun to work with them, and I I'm enjoying watching the scenes because I think there's a real there's a nice chemistry there. There's a nice uh, flow between us, and um, and so we developed I think a kind of uh, trust uh, relatively quickly in terms of working together and I like the way the characters are differentiated they're they're they're, um, they're unique in the sense that one is one is a hothead reflexive uh emotional uh, type in in uh Xander and then you've got this kind of uh oh street smart homespun country kind of character uh, who's uh a little more mature, but, you know, just a different sort of social strata and education level, but real wise and, like I say, a, a man of, of the, of the of, of country. And, and, then you have, uh, and then you have this sort of cerebral psychopath and uh, yeah, sociopath in, uh, in, um, in Orpheus, and uh, who's obviously very well educated and well read and and uh, he is uh, driven by blind uh, hatred and so and and revenge um and so it's interesting to you know see them all three play off each other and of course there are problems and the characters compete and all of that um but uh but it worked out quite well we we enjoy i think we all enjoyed ourselves working together and i was glad yeah to i absolutely agree with you about the dynamics of of the three different characters i especially enjoy orpheus and xander because yeah as you said orpheus is the one who's very methodical we stick with the plan we don't you know and xander's like let's go kill everybody now you know <laughs> <laughs> right I, mean, I think it's very fun what do you enjoy the most about playing the character of orpheus 
and the answer about getting a paycheck doesn't count. What do you like? <laughs> uh, do you like well, character? yeah, well, I I just like the fact that he is. Um, I think he's funny and interesting, and I mean, he says funny things. They write it very well. It's, he's he's uh, cerebral, and he has these sarcastic uh, comments, and um, so he has a real sense of humor, a sharp, sharp, edgy sense of humor. Um, and uh, I like some of the references. I liked how yesterday I, I said to Kayla as I she lay sleeping, I said, "Ill, ill met by moonlight, proud to Tanya." Um, which is King Oberon in Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, and uh, it's a great line. It's a beautiful line, perfect for that situation. But that's that's that takes some real thinking on the part of the writers to come up with that. And uh, so I like that, the, the, the intellectual aspect of him and, and, the, and the wry, biting humor that he has. I like the fact that he is... Um, single-minded, driven by this great, great pain that he felt so long ago. And and I think in life, you know, we all experience loss and pain. There's no getting around it, but it's how you respond that counts. It's, it's you know, how you, how you ultimately have to embrace your own narrative in life. We all have a story, a narrative to live, and some people are always at odds with the narrative and always rejecting what's happened to them and they're always dealing with that that inability to 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 grapple with the truth of their lives and in in terms of orpheus clearly he chose not to accept something so so painful and to deal with it by trying to inflict pain on the people that he believes caused it you know it was an accident but he believes that uh John slash Roman uh, caused this, and um, and this pain in his life, and all the people around him, his 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 wife and friends, and so he's determined. He's just and 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 that kind of thing builds up its own steam. Once you go to the dark side, it kind of it kind of uh, exponentially grows over time. You know, you just it festers and it's it, it's it metastasizes. It's like an emotional cancer that just eats at you. And so I think that is what drives him, and that's the kind of thing that can keep a person alive. It can keep them alive through a lot of, like, being in prison or or whatever, because you have a single focus, something that drives you, a target, an obsession. And so I think that's that's interesting to play, and um, and I understand it. I I mean, I understand how a person could could be that way. And so, so it's easy to get behind it, you know, to, to motivate it and, and to get behind the pain and the anger and the rage. Do you have, like, any favorite scenes or storylines, either from your time in the 80s or from these current shows, uh, that just really stand out in your mind of work on days that you really were proud of, really enjoyed? Well, you know, I, I liked the uh, the stuff we did back then in Stockholm, um, which we shot at Universal on the back lot, and uh, I think originally at the time we there was talk of going to Stockholm, doing a a European uh, location, and that was sounded cool and exciting. But yes, they decided that was pretty expensive and decided to, to just do it on the back lot of Universal and some of the European streets. And um, and I love that because I'm a big fan of old movies and of, of old Hollywood and Hollywood history. So I had been a contract player for Universal for a, a couple of years. I was one of the, one of the la- in the last group of contract players they had in the um, when I first came out here in the 80s, and, um, in 78, 79, 80. But, um, but anyway, so I'd worked on some, some of the, I've seen some of those sets and lots and, I mean, uh, you know, uh, just old period Sets and so I'd I'd been there, but but to, to be running around the streets where Frankenstein was shot, you know, in these European mm-hmm. little streets and cobblestone streets and and fake buildings and that I just I thought wow this is this is Hollywood history and I remember just those whatever a week or ten days we spent there just having the best time. We did some night shoots and we were running around with guns and 
and uh, it was just a lot of fun. It was like uh, you know a kid's dream come true. 